And while that's happening, we'll be getting more and more Amethyst Shards along the way. So, uh, yeah, let's just uh, go ahead and start AFKing at this point. <laughs> What up my roomies and welcome back to the technical guide to Minecraft. And we're back with the Wither Skeleton Farm, but not for Wither Skulls. No, no, no. We're actually here to get coal. Because the Wither Skeleton Farm, you get a lot of coal really quickly. And we're going to need a lot of fuel in order to cook up a bunch of smooth quartz. And as you can see below me, I'm quite fond of smooth quartz. But the problem is, you have to cook blocks of quartz. And uh, without a sustainable fuel source, uh, it's kind of problematic. And hence why we're here. But now we're running into a different issue. While this has been doing me justice for a while, the problem is now that I'm going to need a lot more smooth quartz blocks in order to build up my base. And this contraption over here is just not really cutting it anymore. We need to start scaling things up in order to build faster and more efficiently. But how are we going to build this up? Well, with none other than the furnace array. And so, welcome to Kigakor, where safety is a concern. So over here, we have a standard furnace. I mean, it's pretty simple in its design. You just put in the fuel, you put in the thing that it wants to cook and after a bit of time it spits out the item that you're trying to cook in this case we turn spruce into charcoal and this is all fine and good but what if we wanted to just start scaling it up well the furnace is interesting because it holds storage and because it holds storage if you were to put a hopper beneath it if you then cook the spruce in exactly the same way what will end up happening is that as soon as it's done cooking the item into charcoal it'll spit it out put it into the hopper and then put it into the chest but in addition to that let's say that you don't want to keep going over to the furnace and keep plugging in more and more items and waiting for the 64 to go away. Well, if you put a chest on top with a hopper right beneath it that feeds into the furnace, what will then happen is that the system will start feeding it into the furnace. And like before, all you gotta do is put in a fuel source and as soon as it's done cooking, the charcoal will go out, get sucked into the hopper and go into the chest. So even though it's actively cooking the items, it'll replenish itself because of the chest and the hopper right on top of it. So right there, you saw that it went from 63 back to 64. But in addition to that, not only can we have it for the input for the items that we're cooking but also for the fuel source so if you would put down a chest full of blocks of coal and then on the top you put down chest full of spruce logs the system will continuously grab those items from the chest and plug it into here so even though it's cooking and making it into charcoal it's also automatically replenishing it and this will keep going on and on and on until it uses up all the items in either the fuel or the items chest now we've used a version of this as you've seen in the wither skeleton farm and as well as other episodes that we use a sort of configuration like this where we have the double chest on top that is more easily able to be filled up as such and a double chest for the fuel source that allows both furnaces to be filled up equally and as you can see both furnaces are now equally being fed the fuel and the spruce logs thus multiplying the amount of items that we can get by two the more furnaces you have that amount that gets cooked gets multiplied by that amount so in this case we have two furnaces so it goes by two times that amount and this is where a hopper minecart come into play. See, hopper minecarts will suck items out of a storage block. So let's say in this example, we have a chest over here full of spruce logs. It'll then quickly grab the items, fill itself up, and then the hopper below it will then pull the items out of the hopper and put them into the chest. Pretty self-explanatory. But keeping that in mind, because a furnace also has storage like a chest, what'll happen after you cook a single block of spruce logs is similar to how a hopper is, except we're using a hopper minecart instead. So as soon as this gets cooked, it gets sucked into the hopper minecart, which then gets sucked into the hopper which will then result in our charcoal and it doesn't work for just the bottom it also works above it so if we were to just fill this up with spruce logs then fill up the furnace with gold blocks you can see that the hopper minecart is pulling the spruce logs out of the upper chest the hopper is then pulling it from the hopper minecart which is then feeding into the furnace which is then cooking up charcoal and of course because we could also fuel up the fuel source it's just the same for the back so we fill up the chest full of our fuel material in this case it's blocks that we fill up our items to be cooked in this case it's spruce logs and just like before it all gets filled up and so these hopper minecarts act as well mobile hoppers which means that we could hit more than one furnace at a time with these and so we get this i've labeled it just so it's easier to understand but on the bottom we have a hopper minecart that's going to be pulling from multiple furnaces and then we'll dump it into the items output chest on the top here we have items input which is going to feed these five furnaces and then we also have a fuel input which will then feed this hopper minecart with all the fuel sources we have so instead of the times two that we have over here 
Now we have a five times output for all the things that we need to get cooked. Now bear in mind, because we are scaling up the amount of things that we're trying to process, that also means that you need to have the fuel source in order to compensate for such. Because we're using five furnaces, that means we're going to have to use five times the fuel that we normally wouldn't need to use. But as a result, we get a much more efficient and much more productive system in order to get all the items that we need, especially for the Ambrosia base, which is way, way too big for its own good. <laughs> so like before, on the items input, we just place it up here. Then on the fuel input, we place in all of our inputs. In this case, it's block of coal. And then we just turn on the system by turning on the powered rails. And now the system has now fed all five of these furnaces. And as you can see, it's slowly filling up each and every one and that's really all there is to it now the reason why we're using hopper mine carts instead of chaining up a bunch of hoppers is that chaining up a hop chaining up a lot of hoppers can start bottlenecking the output of it because if you're cooking multiple different items well it could clog up the system and in this way it's more evenly distributed amongst all the different hoppers and so that's why we're using hopper mine carts if you want to play around with this it's going to be a world download and a schematic in the description below and with that in mind let's head back to the technical guide world and get to it. Quick interruption. I noticed that only 12% of you are actually subscribed to this channel. Watching this long, I must be doing something right. So if you like this video, hit that like button and please subscribe to this channel. Any support helps and these videos take a bit long to make. Thank you so much and back to the video. Okay, now that we got that squared away, let's go ahead and start building this furnace ray so that I can make a bunch more smooth quartz blocks. grab our fuel source which is going to be these blocks of coal for later uh so fuel input's going to be on the bottom and then we're going to load this up with blocks of quartz then all we got to do now in order to activate this is just turn the switch on and thus it begins and just to make sure everything gets fed we're gonna do is split these up in half on one side and half on the other that way we can more evenly distribute everything so top is the blocks of quartz and on the bottom is gonna be the block of coal so that way it's hitting on both ends you'll also notice that i didn't do a hopper mine car system on the bottom and that's just for aesthetic purposes yeah it cuts into efficiency but honestly i, I kind of like the lower height <laughs> i didn't want it to make it too tall and just kind of interrupt everything now bear in mind not all the furnaces are going to be on at the same time uh the reason being is that these furnaces are only going to be filled in in the order of closest to the wall but that's fine because once they are filled then it'll go to the next furnace and the next furnace until the entire furnace array gets filled up but here's the thing i don't want to keep going back and forth to the wither skeleton farm just to get more fuel no 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 what we need is a more permanent solution what we need is some lava 